Hello everybody and welcome to what is a slightly different version of your raw. Um, I, I, I spoke to Steve the other day and I said, you know, you're doing everybody else's, how about I do one of yours? And um, he sent me a photograph which I've had a brief look at and I have to say it's a magnificent photograph and I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to do with it just yet. But um, I'm recording in a slightly different way to everybody else because I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. I have um, the Nikon Z30 over there recording me and I have my computer in front of me uh, which is doing a screen recording and I'm going to plant that in the bottom right hand corner so do forgive me. Um, I have to line up the, the sound with the computer and, and, I, and I have no idea I'm going to do that just yet but we will get there I hope. Anyway, so shall we have a look at the photograph? So firstly thank you Steve for sending in the photograph. Um, it is it is different. I'm not really um, a woodland woodland photographer. A woodland photographer. Uh, let me have a look. I can't even remember where I've put it. If I'm honest with you. Um, so let's have a look. See if we can find it. <coughs> and then surely I've put it in something called Steve. Um, and then um, we'll have a look. What? Um, like I said, I have no idea where I've put it. Uh, Steve Svolder, there we go. So here is the photo, let's import that photograph. Um, it's really nice photograph. Um, I, I've always said that woodland photography is something that um, I'd like to get into. And, and you know, since I've met Steve, we've gone to several places I probably wouldn't have gone to before. And um, yeah, um, you know, one day I'll walk around with Steve and, and Martin and Ginge uh, and, and, and everybody else um, and and hopefully um, capture something as pretty awesome as this to be fair um, so like I said please forgive me I'm not um, a woodland photographer so I've not really edited one of these but I can sort of see what I want to do with it straight away um, um, so let's let's get into the photograph so um, what I want to do first is I want to try and bring out more of this tree I suppose uh, there's there's not a lot of separation between the tree the fog and this background this this the sort of the the background that just around here all of this is pretty much entangled within the tree if you see what I mean so um, what I want to do is just select the subject itself first now um, I didn't think it would so what I want to do is add some more of um, the tree to it um, so I'm just going to I'm only going to do it quickly guys because uh, I'm sure you don't want to watch so what I'll do is um, I'll do this now and uh, if I have to what I'll do is I'll fast forward through it um, as I do it I'm only going to do the main parts of the tree I mean these little branches like they're going off here I probably won't because um, you know, I don't really think there's a point, um, but yeah, we'll see what we can do in relation to these big, huge trunk. What an awesome tree! Look at this tree. So, yeah, the tree, um, yeah, I don't want this in it, I want this bit here in it, I don't want this. <laughs> so, um I couldn't tell you one tree from another either, guys. A tree is a tree is a tree. I know silver birch, and that's about it. What's this, an oak tree? I, I, I honestly don't know. Um, so, you know, if somebody wants to tell me, put it in the comments. And you can say whatever you want, it doesn't bother me. Um, I don't know how we're gonna upload this yet. I'll probably get Steve to see if he wants to put it on um, with his. Um, just to keep it together, you know. Um, might put it on mine. See what Steve says. I'll let him. I'll let him decide. Um, yeah. So these are the main bits we want. This here. Look at this beautiful tree. Awesome tree. Um, I, I have no idea where he went to capture this either, guys. So. Um, I, I, I don't think I've ever, I mean, I'm when I'm walking out or hobbling, <laughs> hobbling out with, with 
with my camera. Um, I don't particularly look at trees, but when you see something like this, it sort of looks at you rather than, you don't really have to look through it, do you? Yeah, so I think I think we've got the main part of the tree. Um, I want to get rid of this, so let's click on the minus with the brush. Get rid of this bit. Um, it's not part of the tree, and I've gone over on a couple of bits as well. This bit there, look. Um, I, I don't suppose it will make too much of a difference. But you know, we will see. Um, and what I don't want, I don't really want to do the adjustments while I can see the red. I'm just going to highlight it. I want to go back into. Um, yeah, I want to go back into adding again. Actually, I want to add this bit. I'm not um, brilliant on Lightroom. I know how to use it. I watched Steve's on mine yesterday and he showed me a few tricks I wasn't aware of. So um, maybe I will incorporate that. Anyway, that is the main part of the tree that we've got selected. So um, we're gonna remove the tick and now we cannot see what we selected. So what we could do is just, there's our exposure look and we can see what part of the tree we've done. And if we wanted to add more, we could now. I don't think so. I think that's all we got. I think that's enough. So what I want to do is um, bring out those highlights just a little bit more. Let's have a little bit of a mess around here. So yeah, and the, look at it look, yeah. So um, yeah, these greens look. So if I can bring out these greens like this, just a little, probably a little bit too much. Um, yeah, I love that. I'm not gonna have to do a lot to this in all honesty. Steve, you're supposed to have sent me something that I could, you know, really mess with, but this is such a beautiful photograph. I'm potentially going to ruin it. Um, yeah. The dehaze look so I want to there we go and look at the texture now you can see the really see the texture in the tree here um yeah Steve it's a beautiful photo I really want to bring that tree out some more how's that um I love it I love it so what we want to do now is this white, the fog. Um, I want to um, see if we can do anything with the fog. I don't know why I'm playing with that. Um, I'm sorry if I keep sticking my hand over my face, guys. So, um, yeah, I'm not really sure. So I'm gonna click on the adjustments here and we can see if I go around here, if you look at the screen on the right hand side, you can see the adjustments layer there. And as I go around, you can see that's dark and so it's potentially not going to work doing it this way, but we will see. So, I wanted it, there we go. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I've made a lot of difference, if I'm honest. Um, I don't really know what else to do to it, Steve. It is really such a good photograph. So what we do is this color down here I never mess with the hue guys. I never play with hue. It seems to change the whole color of things, but this here, look, look, so 
I really don't want to, I want to darken it. And then the saturation, if we do it, bring it out a little bit more. Like that, so it's sort of given us a bit more separation between the tree and, is it fern, all this here? Um, I wonder if we can do anything with this as well. So I don't know if you know this, guys. I, I did do a video on it before, that if you press the, the button to the right here and then you take your mouse, um, you know, around, so here we are with the fern and now I'm clicking on my mouse and just rolling the wheel, what I'm doing is I'm just changing, or not changing the colours, I'm adjusting. So I can do it again on the tree. Look how look at that broad that green out. Look at that. So let's do it with the saturation as well. Let's do it here. Look. It's just really brought that green out. Look at that. Um yeah, I mean I feel I feel if I do something to this, I'm actually going to um, spoil the photo, am I? See if there's any, I don't know if that's noise or just distance, but it doesn't look like noise to be fair. Let me get rid of that. There shouldn't be any, so he's done it on a Sony. <laughs> Sorry guys. A um, little bit of banter going with this Sony, Canon, Nikon. Nowadays, does it make any difference? But um, obviously Nikon's the better camera. So anyway, um, so what I want to do as well is, I think there's there's too much of, of a mess here. And there's a lot of everything here. And this is the main part of the tree, I think. He, he sort of concentrated on the the main part of the tree. And I just think the stuff to the right just makes it look like a mess. So um, I think I want to crop it on a one-to-one. -one. Um, so if I go like so, and I bring it over, I think, because I don't want up here as a lot as well. This is what I like. So if I bring it in, I just think, I just think that's the photo, guys. I don't know what you think. Let's mess with this clarity a little bit. See, we can we can go like this and really bring that fog in, you know, um, make it look like it's really really foggy. But I sort of think that's taking the tree away, and and I want to go the other way. I want to bring. The tree, I suppose, you know, I, I, I would probably do that and this and save two photographs. Um, and I might do that even, but, so I want to brighten this fog up as well. Yeah, I mean, what can you do? It, it is a really, really good photograph and, and I don't want to, um, I don't really don't want to spoil it. So if I bring these green, I'll make it a bit more greener. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, you can tell me off, but I think that I think that is pretty good. I want to um, this here. I want to sort of bring it out more. I don't know if I want to darken it more or bring it. So I'm going to add a brush. I need a brush tool. So I'm going to just bring it up. I'm going to paint it in so it's really bright at the minute. Like so. Tell me off if you want, Steve. It's fine. Obviously, I'm not leaving it like this, guys. Um, I might not, I might not do it, but I want to look at that, 
see the the fog is really coming out now so it, I don't suppose it's made too much of a difference but the fog looks like it's more even top and bottom Man, I don't really want to do anything else to it I'm sort of trying to find more to do but there, there is nothing more to do <laughs> yeah so um so one of the other things I like to do um when I do my photographs is I like to take it into Photoshop and um, okay so I'm going to take it into Photoshop and um, why do I want to do this I like to save it from Photoshop but I also like to get a different look at the photograph out of the Lightroom um, um, environment if you wish um, and I just think that now I get a better look at the photograph and I can see if there's anything that I want to remove um, <laughs> and normally when I do mine I remove loads I mean there's a branch down here I don't like because it's sticking his head in and yeah he's he's not really welcome to this party so there's a little bit there um, and I just like to look for things that are a bit of a distraction really so we got this little bit of a I don't know that I think that looks better but it's not interfering and there's nothing else that I can change on it it's a really nice photograph Steve there's these little white bits which I think are a bit they sort of take my eye to the tree that part of the tree they're only diddy witty and um, yeah I don't I don't think I'm really being picky aren't I yeah I mean you could potentially get a paintbrush <clears throat> and we could take it in I don't like that selection so here we go so if I took a paintbrush I don't think this is going to make any difference whatsoever um, and we can just run this paintbrush down here a little bit I don't really think I'm doing there we go so we're sort of yeah I don't yeah it's a little bit better I don't know if you guys agree with adding colour um, and, and I like the idea of this just being a little bit lighter so um, that's a bit too much Tones, yeah. Just here. I don't suppose it's made that much of a difference, if I'm honest. And that's it. And I always put a border around mine, guys. Um, I'm sorry, I've, I've I noticed that the screen that where I've put it to record is a little bit. Um, is a little bit low you're not getting all of the screen I'm sorry about that but um, I like to put a, a white border around um, yeah and I think that is a fantastic photograph Steve yeah so that's me that's me I'm going to save that one um, and I'm gonna save it onto um, into the same file Oops, I don't want to do that. I don't want to be sharing everything with you guys. I'm going to put it onto the desktop. Um, and I'm going to save it as a JPEG. Um, another thing that I like to do is I tend to um, export them um, so that I can reduce the file size so if you wanted to put them on social media you can I mean that's too big 3000 works just fine on uh, Facebook Instagram 
um, although Vero takes um, desktop and we're gonna say we're gonna call this one B uh, like that yep and, and that is it um, I did say that I would save the second one as well where um, I took the, I brought the fog up more. I don't think I actually want to do that now, if I'm honest. Um, I don't think. I don't want to bring that white out. There we go. I don't really think. I don't know. So we need to go back because it's the same photograph. We need to go back to Photoshop and close this one off um, and now I want to take because this is I've got a bit of white out here and I don't like that overexpose on a bit so th this is where I mean it although I like it it's um, I don't know if it's really contributing to the I love that fog though Sorry, Steve, I hope I'm not destroying your photograph, mate. <coughs> um, and again, I really don't like this piece of the tree that's in the photograph. Um, so, we'll get rid of him. We'll get rid of this again. It doesn't really make that much of a the difference and I don't like the way it's cloned that actually. That's Put him back and yeah so we can use our paintbrush again and see if we can stronger actually for this look at that and I mean it's the same color it's probably I, I always frown when I see other people doing it but I don't want to do too much to it yeah I like it I like it so um, I'm gonna put a border around it again so it's the same Save as a copy, save to my computer, put it on my desktop, and we'll call this one AA. And we'll call it JPEG, save, and then we'll do it again. Export, save for web. And we'll go down to 3000 again. So if Steve wants to use it on social media, he can. I certainly won't be using it because it's not my photograph and we'll call this one BB. Okay. And that's it. That's it, guys. Um, I don't know, I just think it's a really nice photo. I don't know. Look at the detail in that tree. Look at the way he's caught that that detail in that tree and we can oh hello yeah just really nice I don't know what I can have that in here so yeah fantastic okay thank you very much thanks Steve um, I hope everybody's enjoyed this um, like I said I'm not I'm not the best person in the world for editing photographs um, I really like watching Steve's. If you haven't seen, if you haven't seen Steve's edits, um, then please go and take a look um, and subscribe to his, mine, Ginger's, and um, MH Photography's um, um, channels on YouTube. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you like these photographs. I'll leave them with you now. I'll speak to you later. Thanks, guys. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.